Salam, I'm Sara and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here to show you the most beautiful places in Iran and today I'm visiting the Malik National Library and Museum in the city center which has a fascinating architecture and I'm so excited to visit it. So let's visit it together. Haj Hossein Agha Malik was born in 1873 in Tehran to a family of Tabriz origin. In the age of 28, when Haj Hussein accompanied his father in a trip to Khorasan to manage their estate, he saw a manuscript and some treasure of Astana Qutsa Razavi and became interested to collecting manuscripts. This interest led to the creation of an incredible collection of manuscripts and printed books. Consequently, he founded his own library in 1908 in Mashhad and after his father passed away, the library was moved to his father's house in Tehran. Haj Hussein donated this house with all the containing precious treasures to Astana Qutsa in 1937. This collection consists of thousands of manuscripts, printed books and lithograph manuscripts, and artifacts such as calligraphy, miniature, lacquer art, carpets, textiles, furniture, paintings, metalwork, stamps and coins. In the early stages of civilized life, men engaged in barter trade. But this involved many difficulties and men tried to find ways of overcoming the difficulties. With the passage of centuries, metal was accepted as the most suitable means of commercial exchange. The earliest metal pieces with commercial application were in the form of rods or formless metallic pieces. Gradually, coins were made with gold, silver or bronze. Although the primary function of the coins were commercial applications, nevertheless they carried cultural, political and historical significance. Archaeological excavations have demonstrated that Lydia was the first government in the world that minted coins. Muhammad Ghaffari, known as Kamalul Mul, came from the well-known artistic family of Ghaffaris, a family of famous painters who served under five Persian kings and two dynasties. Muhammad Ghaffari was born in Tehran but moved back to Kashan with his family when he was three or four months old. He spent his early childhood until the age of 12 at a small village where he learned to read and write. 
His family later sent him to Tehran to Darul Funun, the prestigious school of art and crafts at the time, to further his studies and learn to paint. Nazar Din Shah praised him after the portrait he made of Ettezadul Saltane, head of Darul Funun and Minister of Culture. This changed Kamal ul Mulk's life. He entered the royal court at the age of 20 and received support from the king. Every postal envelope is a passenger from one home to another, a messenger between two cities, an ambassador among nations across the globe. Whatever it is written on paper, the recipient first looks at the color of the envelope. The envelope is closed with many names, labels, and hallmarks. Sometimes the envelope was opened and checked out, official and per rule or intimate and easy. Airmail or custom, envelope as a stamp or accepted, an envelope like a stamp narrates culture, history, and politics. Whether in the mailbox or between an album and perhaps inside a museum. A postcard also has all these and moreover, sometimes there is a photo of someone or someone as memorial. Thank you.